What's up, Farrah? How are you, my friend? I'm fully probably vaccinated. Literally right behind you. Huh? I said I was probably literally right behind you. You too. You too. Hi, Hi, everybody. Farrah, Leticia, Carlos, Janae, and Earl. How you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Having a good time? Yeah. Good. Let's do it. What are we going? This is it? This way. Oh, this one, yeah. all right. Now, how much would that cost out here? One point four ish. So, why would black folk continue to come out here and you can't have what you have? And we 34% of the state. Okay, I'm coming. I, no, I'm serious. <laughs> you, you have, she you said have, I'm coming. You have so many options that yeah, you just don't have. You have to fight. Now, yeah. see, if you, can, if you can afford like a $400,000 house, right? You gonna talk about living in a mansion, fam? You're in the country club at that point. Yeah. You can live in Gaby for, for, for four hundred thousand. You can live. You can live wherever you want to, baby. You're in the country right. club. You you buy, you buy the, You can go to New Orleans and live by the NFL players and play for the Saints. You can go live by the players and play for the Pelicans. For half a million dollars, you can you can go let me live. Show, let me show you a million dollar house in Baton Rouge. Oh yeah, this is one point eight is what y'all staying in right now. So that's in Baton Rouge. Yeah. Four bedroom, five bathroom. No, five thousand square feet. Yeah. That ain't and, even, and a community that ain't, swimming pool. That ain't even. That ain't even. What, let me. Let me show you something. <laughs> like the, the, the price of living here is crazy. <laughs> I'm like, you can even build. Like my parents right. built built their house for like three three maybe. Wait, so they did and this, own stuff. That is beautiful. 300. And nobody ever flushed your toilet. <laughs> Ain't that a beautiful thing? Ain't no fuss been on that toilet but y'all. <laughs> Literally. You know? 1.5 <laughs> million. Door, front and back. Space, space. Your neighbors, you can't just. Oh, no, touch. I know my neighbors very well. Yeah, like, no, I, can I have some oh, salt? <laughs> Look, look at the land. Wait, is that water? All of that is yours. <laughs> for, for that. You get a lake? You get that behind you the house? Let me show you. Y'all ain't gotta keep disrespecting me. <laughs> I get it. Like, jeez. Come on. Right. Y'all can afford the chocolate pan out here. They come home. Yeah, I mean, no, but honestly, like, you can get triple what you got. Not only look at that, your outdoor living. Look at your outdoor living. If I sell living. my house. Yeah. That's, That's your backyard. Your That's your backyard. That is your backyard in Louisiana. My uncle just sold his house here. And he's moving he home. And he's gonna ride in cash. He look did. At, look at the front of that. Is that Cracker Barrel? No, but that, that's a house. No, that's Cracker Barrel. <laughs> so pull up the house. Don't show me Cracker Barrel. That is the house, fam. Gary, that's the Cracker Barrel house. Thank the that, little porch with the little chairs. Yeah. We have porches. Yeah, we have porches. We, 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 <laughs> we sit outside. We sit outside. We sit outside. We sit outside. In the front outside. That is so gorgeous. Oh, no, seriously, I just... Listen, I look at the kitchen. I'm look at the kitchen. Story. Look at the brick floor. Uh, listen, I'm about to call my sister. <laughs> watch, watch. We're going to call her right now. Come on, Miss home. Queen Come on, home. Come on, home. But that's what you need to do, Gary. I'm telling you, so many of us just. I've been trying to tell y'all to come on. New New Black South. Let's go. Yeah. Can I tell you? But, but you're key to this because I always tell people the South has no marketing. Because it's up to where did Where did we say that we wanted to buy a house next? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, you're on camera. Okay, I'll call you back. Bye. No, we were literally, like I was telling my sister, she has three kids. We can't, like, even if they do everything they're supposed to do in life, they're not going to be able to buy a house here, most likely. The odds are not in their favor, most likely. Of do you know that you will forever in the deep south be able to buy a house? And you can buy acres, and if, if if you if you mess around there and become a wealthy black person, right? You can live like a god. I'm wealthy now to buy five fans across the 
You could never convince me to live on the West Coast. Or either one of the coasts. You could never convince me to move to Chicago, to uh, to LA, to Oakland, to New York. You could never convince me to go any of those places. What I'm saying is, there needs to be a marketing strategy. This is what we're doing it right now? Exactly. There is a disconnect between where we are from in terms of our ancestors you know what a, and how we perceive that place. You know what I think a challenge is? What a challenge is, Absolutely. one of the challenges is we have not got the ability to really tap into building something, right? You're going to look and find that the schools are not what the schools are here, right? They're failing black children everywhere in America. But they failing our kids here. Everywhere. Okay. So, so the question becomes, when do we, when do we decide we're going to come into an area, have enough critical mass of us, that we can then determine what does an education system look like for the whole state, not just for a city, right? That we can go from... You know, you get a mayor of a city, you control a $900 million budget. You become the governor, you control a $27 billion budget. I love it. Now, this is what we have to do. We have to literally tell that story, and it has to be come home. Because all of us are from there. I tell people all the time, like, we're not Californians. Like, we just live here. So, all of our roots are there. So, it's just a matter of... You paving the way back. Somebody that's trustworthy. Somebody that speaks our language. Somebody with a political mind. A savvy mind to outline all of the steps. Teach me a wise one. <laughs> <laughs> it starts with marketing. I mean, you, but honestly, just, you use your page, you use your page for a lot, but what I would love for you to start doing as well is, you, I learned from you that the highest black percentage of people is in Mississippi. I didn't know, like, why would I? Mississippi has done such a terrible job with branding and marketing that I would think no, that no, there's no. five a, people there. That's intentional. Of course. They don't want you Negroes to come and take over. If we think about the impact that we have on the vote in those states, that's why they work so hard to suppress it. It ain't but 46 million black people in America, right? So if it's 46 million of us and we spread all over the place, we watering our, our effectiveness down. We talk about how do we get this stuff done? Even when you do that, you then control a bigger block of Congress because you can elect more black Congress members. You can have, instead of three black senators, you can have 16. But because we want to be married to this shit. But not married to here. It's systematic. It's a design. They have successfully made you afraid to leave what you're comfortable with. You don't own it no way. That's like Jay-Z said, you fighting and killing each other over streets you don't own. Your mama don't even own the house. The fear of stepping outside of that one mile radius that so many of us don't step outside is real. There is no mention about the robust black culture. There is no mention about the economic opportunities. It's, you're going to go there and die. They cannot. They wish they could put us back in chains, but they can't. We are too many in number. You know the other thing, y'all don't know what it live, feels like to live by that many black people. No, we don't. We, we, we are spoiled in Louisiana. You know, because it's black. You know, it is, we, we, I did not go to school with white children until I was like seventh grade. I didn't, I did not have white, I did not have white teachers. I did not have white children at my school. And I can count how many black teachers I've had. No, 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 no. All my, my principals, my first principals were black. You have, a black man was my principal in elementary school. Donald Ray Dixon was my cousin. He was the principal of Banks Elementary School. My daddy was a janitor there. My mama was a school teacher at Southern Lab. Like, and black kids still have that experience every day. Cleve, how many, how many, your, your principal at Capitol High School was what? Black. And and Capital what? Middle, black. And, and Banks what? Elementary, black. A black and what? Uh, a man. A man, right? yeah. A black man. That is like Joe Clark, we had them. Yeah. We had them. <laughs> we had them, multiple of them. You know, Scotlandville had a black man principal. Capitol had a black man principal. McKinley had a black man principal. Breeder, a Struma, all of them. All of them, you know. We, we, we have not, 
So that's why, like, when I walk into spaces with, with them, I'm not intimidated at all because, like, my whole existence was, was created among nothing but black people. But that is critical to develop, and I think that's what a lot of black kids are missing. You don't see people who look like you who are nurturing you. Oh, absolutely. And are in positions of power, like teachers and principals. What what you think about that as somebody who lives on the coast? That's the whole conversation. Like, you trying to back, do the I, I know. I'm, I'm just trying to see what I pers- I know what what well, you think. I, I, I think back. that we are traumatized and abused and disconnected from our roots, and no one has reached back to say this is this is where you will be safe. We have created a false sense of security here. Um, I never say that California is liberal. Like, they know how to project liberal mm-hmm. views. But in terms of me saying that I feel so welcome and protected, yeah. absolutely not. But it was a strategic decision to make the South look like an unsafe space for black people who have migrated here. Meanwhile, a lot of us are struggling to have the basics here when there is a whole world open where you originally from. What, what area did you were you raised in here? South LA, South Central. South Central. The Crenshaw yeah. District. Who in your family? Your parents or your grandparents? Oh, my grandparents. Shreveport on one side and Jackson on the other side. But there was an ex- when they left, that was it. Yeah. There wasn't a... There was no look back. No, no, no tie, no relationship to the South. I think it was so much effort that they had to put into to, staying yeah. here. There wasn't a vacation because all of that money went into paying the rent and the mortgage. But the cost of living is extremely high. So think about trying to figure out how to get five kids back to Louisiana for a family reunion. We're not driving. We don't have that much time off of work. So it wasn't wasn't purposeful. Of course my great-grandmother, who was the one who migrated here, of course I think she would have wanted for us to have a connection to Shreveport. But could she afford to take six kids back and forth? No. So then my grandmother didn't have a connection. And then my dad didn't have a connection. And then now there's me. And after that, it was... I make a purposeful effort to know that that's where my people are from. Not because I've been there, because I want to know my story and I want to know my roots. Yeah. But I don't blame my great-grandmother. I know she did what she had to do to stay in the house that she was in here. I think she would have loved for us to go back and to have roots planted there too. I was telling Gary, so many of us are doing exceptionally well on paper and still cannot purchase dirt here in California. So a campaign to talk about this is your home and come back there for people who want to achieve that quote unquote American dream is... What is what is a uh, three, four bedroom, 2,000, 2,500 square foot house in a... You know, decent neighborhood calls in California, or, or the LA region. The house across the street from mine recently sold for 1.2. 1.2 million. And it's I live in Nipsey Hustle Square. Yeah. And that's South LA. That's right. Um, the house is probably maybe 2,000 square feet. Wow. You might have some grass. Um. Now let me tell you. Right. Let me tell you what I've seen a lot of people from California do. You, if you're a homeowner sell their already, house that, and there you go. Cash. Well, sell their house at <laughs> 1.2 or whatever, 2,500 square foot home. You can take half of that 1.2 and save it, and you take the other half, go down south, and buy you five or six 2,500 square feet homes. Because you can also become not just a, a, a property owner for yourself. But a a landlord, a landlord. Yeah. and for my, you can buy for hundred and sixty thousand dollars, you can buy a four place in Baton Rouge, right? And, and see, generate yourself four to five thousand dollars a month. There you go. So, so so now you sold your other house, right? To cash now out. you got two. Now now you got two, right? So you can take that residual income from those investments because you're gonna rent them houses out. So now you can afford you a three four point five million house in LA. Right. Because but a lot of people come down south. Fact, here. You could probably buy in that uh, off Star, for instance, in that area where them uh, four places are. You could go back there if you sold your house for one point three. You go over there, buy three four places, and generate eighteen thousand dollars a month for yourself potentially, or uh, somewhere in that, right? I, listen, I, I am sold. On, <laughs> I was telling Gary. Um, 
someone's like, oh, my next step is to buy another piece of property that is not here. Mm -hmm. But why would I not go back home? Yeah. Um, I do want to learn. I want to have a connection. I have zero connection. This is my home. I'm not denying my South Central roots. Yeah. But I know that there was a before South Central. And that's what I'm interested in exploring for myself. Let me ask you this. Speaking to that, though. The origin of South Central, why it's Compton and all that. When I was here, probably two years ago, I wanted to go to Compton and why, and I went. And people were telling me no, the no. demographics has is, changed. Is, is changed. It's, we not there no more. So where did we go? Some of us are getting it and are moving to Atlanta, okay. moving to Charlotte, and moving to Dallas. Um, some people get it, clearly. Like, why am I struggling making six figures when I can go and have a piece of the American dream in you the place? I own something you can pass on to your children's children. Yeah. Look at him sitting on his boat, just chilling. <laughs> it feels so good out here. You know, we don't have, uh, we have humidity. Yes, like, for good. real. <laughs> Like for real. But honestly, my hair does so well in the humidity. I'll be like, look at my curls. Yeah. Like, Most listen. girls that complain about that. Them Do women in Louisiana hate, hate the humidity. Well, see, I don't have no perm. I want the curl. I don't need they, the moisture. They don't either. either. They, they don't, don't like, like how it just freezes up. Oh, no. I know. Oh, I love the moisture in my hair.